guys, how's it going? I hope all of you are doing great today! Check it out guys, we are back with episode 2 on our floating island hardcore world. We're still alive and kicking and we've got a whole bunch of stuff planned today. So first off, I want to say thank you so much for all of the epic support that you left on the first episode. It really seemed like you guys really enjoyed the floating island preset of the world and I'm really happy that you do. Having a different map really feels refreshing and it also creates really cool and new challenges for all of us to complete together. And speaking of challenges, thank you so much for all of the hardcore challenges that you guys have suggested. There were so many cool ideas that you had in the comment section, I really felt inspired with everything that you wanted me to do. So I've picked a bunch of cool challenges from the previous video, including getting to Y0, as well as looting a structure at the bottom of the map. I really hope you're excited for that. And of course, like in the previous video, if you have any hardcore challenges that you want me to complete, head on down into the video description and let me know what I should do. I'll then go through all of your suggestions and I'll pick a few of them to complete in the next episode. Oh, and by popular request, I've also recorded a bunch of first person footage, especially when I'm completing these challenges. So I really hope you're looking forward to that in this episode. Anyways, enough rambling, let's get started with the episode. So the first thing that I wanted to do today was some survivaling, especially explore some of the other biomes that are around us on the other islands. I really wanted some more variation in the materials, especially some more wood types. So the primary mission for me was to gather some saplings of other trees, especially spruce, since I think that is the easiest wood type to collect when you're cutting them down. So we bridged over to another part of our main island and found some horses. Now, let me tell you guys, taming one of these took ages. I have no idea what was going on here, how many times I was sitting on that horse, but I think I was there for a full five minutes or something like that, just trying to tame that horse. I don't know what, what was going on. That thing always was throwing me off. I also was really careful not to get too close to the edge while I was riding that horse because I didn't want that thing to throw me off only to fall off the side of the island and to my death. Luckily we were able to tame one of them eventually, so I put him in a little hole just beside the other guys so that we can take him back later when we get back from our adventure. This was also the point where we completed our first hardcore challenge, that is right. The first challenge was suggested by Dre Vasquez, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, and the challenge was to build a bridge to another island without any railing. This sounds simple enough, but when you have a look underneath the bridge, you can see a whole bunch of skeletons spawn under the island, and one shot from these fellas, and there wouldn't be an episode 3, because remember guys, this is hardcore, yeah. But luckily, we made it to the other side with ease and I felt much more confident also just building bridges like this. So we continued it like that. Another thing which I wanted to gather was also a lot more food because we were running low guys. Yeah, and I've been eating bread for the last couple of days and that, that's not cool guys. No, we need some meat in our bellies. So I killed all of the sheep that I could find since we're already breeding them up on the main island and mutton sounds pretty yummy, so why not guys, let's kill some sheep. We bridged over to a few more islands and ended up in a taiga biome. So this was the point where I collected some spruce saplings and then came across some ocean ruins. This was really interesting because the floating islands that we were on were actually in an ocean biome. So there was no water around us, but that made looting the ruins a lot easier because we didn't have to worry about drowned spawning and also not running out of air. Anyways, I think this is actually a great time to switch to first person because we found some sweet loot here and even had the opportunity to complete another hardcore challenge. So let me hand it off to first person Archie and I'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, check it out. We have found a buried treasure map right in this 
sunken ocean monument thing <laughs> it's it's above the world but who knows yeah it's it's quite interesting this whole place is actually an ocean so yeah we get stuff like this which spawns and also when you have a look right down there there is a whole bunch of more stuff which has a whole bunch of skeletons so i don't think i'm gonna go down there just yet because that is a little dangerous right there if they knock me off then that is game over so guys what i think i want to do is actually try and get here i do believe it is this way it seems like it yeah there's more and more of the map loading in so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go over this hill and go to the spot where x marks the spot it's it's not floating in the middle of the uh, of the void, is it? No, no. We'll find out, guys. So, let's go on an adventure and let's find this buried treasure. Alright, guys. So, we are definitely getting closer. I think we're almost on the map now. And let's see this terrain if there's a lot of stuff to cross. Ooh, that's a pretty big void, guys. Yeah. Hmm. I think what I can do is I might actually go down here all the way around there it's a little longer but then we can go over the area safely and actually get some birch wood that's right guys we don't have any birch woods yet so i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna hop out down there and then cross right over there and a pumpkin thank you very much you know what would be really cool if we could actually go over to this sunken ship right there i'm not too sure if we can do that but i think it should be possible yeah We'll hop on down right over there, somewhere around here. We'll have to be careful with a whole bunch of skeletons spawning in and over there. But we might be able to do that. Yeah. Hang on, let me get some more dirt and let's see if we can do that. I'm going to pillar across with some dirt. This is dangerous, guys. <laughs> and then once we get over there, I'm going to use a water bucket so that we can safely descend down all the way to the ship. And who knows, maybe we'll find some epic loot down there. This. Yeah, and then we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. What I always do is I always have to look around to ju just check out if, you know, in any of these nooks and crannies, uh, some skeleton spawn. Because I think that is going to be one of the most dangerous things that we are going to encounter right here. Any other mob I think is fine. We can dodge that. But if we have a skeleton which spawns right while we're pillaring across the void, we're going to have a bad time, guys. We really are going to have a bad time. All right, we're almost over the bridge, uh, over the sunken ship. There we go. I think that is safe. Now, let's have another quick look around. I don't think that guy can get us, so I think we are safe. Now, let's take our water bucket and descend. There we go. All right, are we ready? Let's jump down. <laughs> Guys, check it out, because this is the only water around here. <laughs> there are a whole bunch of fish spawning right now. <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. Alright, I gotta sleep, otherwise I'm gonna die. I've just realized, guys, this could be a really great fish farm to get a whole bunch of food. <laughs> Look at all that food right there. <laughs> and in the other chest, we have some protect projectile protection 4 on leather boots and protection 4. Hmm. I'm honestly not too sure if they're better than the iron armor which I have right now. I'm gonna have to do some tests, but I'm definitely gonna take those and the carrots, and who knows, maybe the suspicious stew. Maybe we'll have some fun with that. All right, guys, I think that is it. I'm gonna have another look around, and then I'll get out of here. And then, off to our buried treasure. Forgot one more chest, guys. Check this out. Ooh, lapis, emeralds, and iron. That is awesome. I'm gonna leave the nuggets there. I think that's just gonna clutter up all of our inventory. Now I have to get out of here. Hmm. Yeah, so one thing which I definitely didn't think about are the puffer fish. They're... Oh my god, they hit hard. Okay, guys. We're gonna have a problem right here. Alright, guys, change of plan. I think what I'm actually gonna do is pillar up right here and then take out that waterfall. What I originally wanted to do was actually swim up that thing, but I think that is just way too dangerous considering how many puffer fish are actually spawning down there. Ooh, dear. Alright. I really have to watch out that there are no skeletons right there, but let's just keep going. All right, guys, check it out on the map. I think we are actually going to be in luck. This thing is not in the void. It is somewhere over here. All right, guys, let, let me do some digging. Let's see what we can find. 
and let's hope that that thing is somewhere around here. Who knows, maybe we will find some buried treasure. That would be really great. And let's not stand on the sand. That is just bad luck. Guys, check it out. Look what I found right here. I can, I can dig this down, this is safe. All right, that means we can actually find a conduit in here, right? Oh, check it out, guys. This is awesome. Okay, okay, I really need, I need to take this thing and hang on. I, I really need to sort this out. Give me a few minutes. There we go, guys. All right, I think that is going to be enough. I'm going to leave the prismarine crystals right here because I don't think we can do too much with them right now. We have some TNT. That is really great. And a heart of the sea. Oh, boy. Hang on. We're going to need those crystals because we're going to have to power that heart of the sea. Hmm. All right, I left the zoo bluets. Now we have the prismarine crystals. And I think it is time to head back, guys. My inventory is just way too full. We can leave this buried treasure map right in here. Hang on, what I'm always gonna do, break this chest, and then we're gonna throw this thing, whoops, come on. We're gonna throw this thing off into the distance right there, and then, yeah, let's head on back. See guys, it's stuff like this. It is stuff like this where you just have to be so careful. You know, you're minding your own business, just walking about here thinking, oh yeah, you know what, it's just a little dirt. Boom, you fall in down here, it is over, you're dead, and there's no more hardcore. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna be more careful, but let's keep heading on back. This is really bad, guys. <laughs> All right, I have to kill this guy really quickly before more, more mobs spawn, otherwise I am stuck here. <sighs> All right, we can do this, we can do this, guys. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. There we go. <gasps> and an ender pearl, quickly sleep. And there we go, check it out. We've got our first ender pearl. Now, what I was saying is, I don't want to go across with the horse just yet. It is a one, a one wide uh, walkway right there. I'm a little too afraid that I'll fall, so I'm going to leave him right here. I'm going to get him back later, but what I want to do then is have this at least two, maybe three wide before we transport this little guy right here, because that's a little too, a little too dangerous. All right, let's pick up my bed and let's head on back right over there. We can see our base. Change of plan, guys. We have a lead. <laughs> Let's try and do this. I hope he wants to follow us. Come on, little guy. Did you see that, guys? <laughs> Look at those arrows. If they hit me, I'm gone. All right, he's on. Now let's quickly, very quickly run. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, right? Please don't shoot me. I think that guy could shoot me, so I have to be really... He's gone. Come on, horse. Go around the corner. I don't want to... I don't want to drop you. <laughs> Whew, we're safe, guys. <laughs> we are safe. We have brought this little guy across the world. All right, let's head on home. Woo! All right, guys, <laughs> we have made it. Check it out. Our little buddy is safely leashed right over there. I've gone through my inventory a little bit and whoops, no, I want to go down here, guys. Check it. Not in there, right in here. We have a whole bunch of iron which we collected. We have the heart of the sea, which is really awesome. And of course, we've got a whole bunch of food, some mutton. We've killed 35, I think more than more than 35 sheep. We have the two magma bo blocks, which we might actually be able to use in a farm or something like that. Some emeralds, which is very helpful. And then a whole bunch of knickknacks, like some birch saplings and spruce saplings. So. Gathering some wood with spruce is gonna get a lot easier. Now let's just take all of that stuff out and drop it in here. So, check it out. We have one and a half stacks of iron ingots. We have some emeralds and some more lapis and some more gold. I'm really happy with this mine, not some mining session, with this lucrative exploring session. Yeah, let's call it an exploring session. We have our little horse right there and we've gathered a whole bunch of stuff. I'm really happy. I hope you guys enjoyed that as well. Oh, and I just forgot, guys. The whole trip we've been going on, we've been eating bread. So, three, two, one, and bam, there we go. The other hardcore challenge is complete. We've gone vegetarian for over three Minecraft days. Not even vegetarian. No, guys, we have gone vegan. We have been eating bread. That is right. <laughs> Oh man, all right, while the sun is setting, let me go sleep and then let's head on to the next part of the episode. All right, back again to a little bit of third person Archie. I hope you didn't miss me too much. 
So the next hardcore challenge that I want to achieve is to place a block down all the way at Y0, which is quite an achievement when you think about it, guys. That's not too easy. Now, why do I want to do that? Well, I want to build a mob farm down there. And building a mob farm at the bottom of the world is one of the most efficient places that you can do that. Why is that so efficient? Well, the way the mob spawning algorithm works is that it starts all the way at the bottom of the world and then looks for a free place to spawn in a mob. It then works its way up to the top of the world and the higher it gets, the less mobs spawn because the mob cap will have already been filled up by the mobs that have spawned all the way at the bottom of the world. Building a mob farm all the way at bedrock in a normal world isn't really feasible because you have to clear out a 128 block radius all around the farm, which basically means you need a world eater or a beacon and a lot of free time, guys. And I'm not exaggerating, I think that'll take a couple of days at least. <laughs> Building this in our world, however, works perfectly because all that we have to do is find a nice and empty spot in the void and then build our farm there. Similar to an enderman farm when you think about it. Anyways, in order to do that, we need a bunch of blocks. So I went into our strip mine and mined a few blocks which we can then use to build the farm. I'll then smelt them up so that we can cut them into stone bricks and I think that'll make the path as well as the mob farm look a lot better rather than using cobblestone, guys. I, th I think that's pretty cool. Anyways, time to hand it off to first person Archie again, so enjoy that guy, <laughs> and I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, we've slept, the sun is rising, we have smelted down our stone, we have a whole bunch of stone bricks and some dirt. Now, getting down to Y0, there are, I think there are two ways to do this. There's an easy way and there's a hard way. So the easy way would be if we head on down all the way to our strip mine, we are at around Y2 or something like that. We could break a few blocks right here and there you go. We could drop down a bucket and go right down there and it would be quite easy, but we're not gonna do that. Oh no guys, we're gonna make it a lot harder. That is right. So what I'm thinking about actually doing is I wanna build a mob farm that is right somewhere over there in that area I think that is far away from all of the islands it's pretty empty so we're gonna have really good spawns if we build a mob farm over there so we have to get there and I think the coolest way to do that is to actually just start placing down some blocks right over here until we get to somewhere over the void because then it starts getting interesting all right guys so we have pillared across into the void. There we go. We are at Y90, so we have to go down 90 blocks. That's easy to do. And we are in a savanna biome. So I don't think we're going to have too many problems with um, puffer fish spawning. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to toss down a bucket right here. So I'm going to let that go down all the way to the bottom. And there you go, as you can see, the water has stopped, which is awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all of my dirt and I'm just gonna jump right down there and start placing down some dirt until we're at Y0. Maybe we'll die, maybe we'll not. I don't think we will, I hope we won't, but let's do this, guys. So there we go. You know what, guys, this is surprisingly easy. I'm not gonna leave, I'm not even gonna leave my F3 screen open. Oh no, this is going to be an easy challenge. It's gonna get harder once we're down there. But you know what, guys, let's just keep going. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. My pulse is starting to get a little faster. My hands are sweaty. I don't have any more dirt. There we go. We're, we're getting closer. We can do this, we can do this. Just a few more blocks, come on. Oh my God, this is, this is intense, guys. We almost got this, come on. Okay, one more. All right, last block is always the hardest. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Come on, come on. There you go. All right, we're done. <laughs> Let's quickly get up here, get some air. And I don't have any ladders. I need some ladders. And there we go, guys. The water is removed. We have a block all the way down there at Y0, which is pretty cool. We can now start a really epic mob farm. So let me jump back and let me get some stuff sorted. All right, guys, check it out. Whoa, 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 
Whoa, whoa. Oh, we almost fell. <laughs> oh, that is getting fun. So we have put a little, a little ladder thing down there, which we can jump down just like that and get all the way to the bottom. How close can we get? Almost. Uh, oh, there we go. I'm not going to go any closer. <laughs> All right. All right. So we've got a block at Y0. If you look at the there, the targeted block, I didn't see it. Negative 52, 0, 88. So the block is at Y0. We completed our challenge. That is awesome. Now, one thing which I said, I know I want to build a mob farm, but I think I'm actually going to keep that for the next episode because there is one more challenge which I want to do. And I want to talk about that, but to do that, I need to get up here. So let me go up all the way to the top and then I'll get back to you once we're there. So like I said, there's one more hardcore challenge which I want to complete this episode and I want to combine two of you guys, your guys' suggestions. The first suggestion was by Han Shentan who said we should survive one night without sleeping and spawn proofing. And then Joshua Sedwick also suggested that we should survive one night without any weapons. Hey Tree, how's it going? <laughs> so I want to combine those two. One night, no weapons. No spawn proofing, and yeah, let's survive that. We'll see how it goes. So what I am gonna do right now is I'm gonna put my iron sword away. I am gonna keep my axe, my pickaxe, and shovel. Am I gonna keep them? Hmm. You know what, guys? A pickaxe can technically be a weapon, an axe as well, and a shovel. If you kill someone with a shovel, that's gonna hurt, and a hoe. Ooh, that thing is pointy. So we're gonna put all of our... Um, tools away. We cannot have those. A shield is technically classified as a weapon, so why not? Let's put that away. So, we're gonna have all of our food, we're gonna have our golden apples, and very important, we're gonna have our water bucket. Now, what we're gonna need is a whole bunch of blocks, some which don't fall, so stone bricks, as well as some sand, just in case. I'm not too sure how that's gonna be. And one guy which we're, we're gonna take with us is our little kitty right there. Hey guy, how's it going? Because he's gonna keep the creepers away from us. So I hope that's gonna work really well. Dude, what you doing, man? You can't stay there. <laughs> I need you to protect me from the creepers. Oh no, th this is gonna go really well. The only thing which we're gonna have to do right now is wait until the sun sets. And while that happens, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to another island somewhere over there in the distance because right over there that is not too close to our base so if a creeper blows up we're not gonna destroy anything and yeah we're, we're just gonna have tar carnage guys this is gonna be fun all right let me go over there real quick and I'll get back to you once we're over there all right we're in our little savanna biome and right over there in the distance you can see our little base so this is going to be our standing ground. Is that what you call it? The, the, the ground where we make our stand. <laughs> where we hopefully will not die. I want to get up to somewhere over there so we can have a nice view. And the trick I have is... For Enderman, I'm gonna use my water bucket. That's gonna be pretty good. I can maybe also even use this to repel some mobs. I have my cat to repel the creepers. If skeleton co skeletons come, I can put up some uh, blocks so that they, hang on, I'm gonna use some sand, so that they can, you know, I can break the line of sight so that they don't hit me. And zombies, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll box them. Why not, I'll box them. <laughs> I'm getting a little nervous, guys. Sun is setting. We even have a, a raiding party. Ooh, well I can't kill them. Well, I don't know, they're, they're gonna have to just be there, I guess, yeah. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be it, guys. It's been fun. Two episodes of the Hardcore series. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, sun is setting, and three, two, one, and go. All right, so we have our first zombie. Now, I'm not gonna hit him. I'm actually gonna do a little tango dance with him because as soon as I hit him, more are gonna spawn. So just stay over there and we'll see when more monsters spawn. So far, it's looking pretty good. All right, it's two zombies right now. Let's see, I wanna get them in the hole there. Hmm, I'm gonna do this. Oh, all right, we got a spider on us. I'm gonna punch this guy away if I can hit him. There we go. <laughs> There you go. Eat some pork chop, man. Eat some pork chop. Ooh. Can oh. 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 
Check it out, guys. They're fighting. They're fighting each other. Ooh, and there are a lot of zombies. I think that is a good way. I'm gonna have to try and get the, them to fight each other. There we go. There we go. We've got another guy killing each other. That is good. That's how I'm gonna get them down. Another idea which I could try is getting a creeper over there and punching him into all of the zombies so they blow up. Because this is not going so well, guys. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on, <laughs> and run, and run. All right, guys, looking at the sun, it is actually almost going down. You know what, guys? This is incredibly easy. This is no fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go full Rambo on there. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a little chicken. Come on. Boom. <gasps> oh, no. He's killed my cat. <laughs> guys, we, we, we lost Kitty. <laughs> Oh no, that, that poor little guy. Aw, what are we gonna do now? Poor guy, just blew up. But you know, that does have a silver lining, which means we can actually use the creepers now as a bomb. So let's go find some more creepers. Let's get that skeleton to shoot some of these zombies. That would be a great idea. There we go, they're fighting each other. That's going good and I shouldn't fall down there. <laughs> Oh, check it out, guys. The sun is rising. Hey, maybe we can get some more kills in. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna scare you. Oh, I'm in the hole. I'm in the hole. Woo! <laughs> Boom, there we go. Oh, they, they almost died. <laughs> we killed one guy and they're fighting. There we go, guys. We have almost survived the night. They are sort of dying. <laughs> now we really have to just watch out that... The creepers and the spiders don't kill us. But so far, we are doing really well. Hey, you got nothing on me, do you? Ooh, there we go. <laughs> now, since it's daytime, I'm just gonna punch these guys to death. And there we go. <laughs> just use a creeper bomb. All right, guys, check that out. It is daytime. We have survived the night without any oh that's scary we have survived a night without any weapons and without spawn proofing that was a lot of fun it was actually a lot easier than i thought who knows maybe next time i'll have to take off the armor but that's gonna be your decision for the next hardcore challenges so let me get back to right over there in the distance to our base and then i'll get back to you once i'm at the base yeah of course <laughs> And we are back at the base, guys. We have survived the night. We have the loot from the battle. Let's check it out. Two arrows, one bone, four rotten flesh, and six string. That's right. Totally not lucrative, but that was almost too easy, guys. Yeah, you're gonna have to come up with something harder than that. I'll be honest. <laughs> we lost Kitty, unfortunate, which is very, very sad. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. We're gonna have to probably build a tombstone or a proper bur burial site for, for him or her. How about you guys suggest what we will do for Kitty? We have to honor his bravery, what he, he has sacrificed his life in order to save us through the night. He has protected us from the creepers and we will never forget him. Oh man, but we survived the night, guys. We have survived the night, and I think that's gonna be it from me, guys. Yeah, originally I wanted to build a mob farm in this episode, but you know what? I'm really having a lot of fun doing these hardcore challenges with you guys. I hope you are having a lot of fun with them as well. We have gotten all the way down to Y0 right here, and I think in the next episode we are definitely gonna tackle that uh, that mob farm. You can't even see ghosts going down there. Oh yeah, right over there you can see the little the little spot that we built. That was a lot of fun. And of course, guys, we have survived the night in hardcore without any weapons and without spawn proofing. So yeah, if you have any hardcore challenges, leave them down in the comment section. I will then pick some more to complete in the next episode. They are a lot of fun. So yeah, guys, get creative. Maybe something a little harder. Who knows? That was almost too easy. Yeah. <laughs> You know what, guys? This is hardcore. Oh no, I'm, I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the outro backwards. Have a good one, guys. I'm gonna go jump around, and I will see you in the next episode. Woo, 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 woo! <laughs> All right, that was almost close. All right, have a good one, guys, and I will see you later. <laughs>